Students, now we will learn about the metallurgy of iron. Iron does not occur in the native state as it is oxidized easily. Iron is also present in plant and animal tissues. And iron in elemental state occurs in meteorites. The most important ores of the iron are the oxides, carbonates and sulfides. They are magnetite, hematite, limonite, siderite and iron pyrites. The extraction of iron from hematite involves the following main process. 1. Concentration of the ore. 2. Calcination. And 3. Smelting. Let us now study each of these in detail. First, the ore is crushed into pieces. Then it is washed with water to remove clay, sand, etc. Now the ore is subject to calcination. It removes moisture, carbon dioxide, sulfur and arsenic. Calcination makes the ore porous. Then it is mixed with coke and limestone. Now the ore is ready for smelting. The process of smelting takes place in a blast furnace. The blast furnace is a steel surface lined with fire bricks. It is about 100 feet in height and about 25 feet in diameter. It is slightly narrow at the top and the bottom. Coke, iron ore and limestone are introduced from the top. Hot air is blown to the top of the furnace through the inlets on either side at the bottom. The high temperature at the bottom of the furnace causes combustion of coke forming carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide move up and reduces to carbon monoxide upon contact with coke. Carbon monoxide reduces the iron ore into ferrous oxide and finally to iron. The formed iron is solid in state which converts to liquid and settles at the bottom. The limestone decomposes to lime and carbon dioxide. The limestone combines with silica to form calcium silicate. Calcium silicate settles on the top of the molten iron. Slag is withdrawn from the outlet and molten iron is collected at the bottom. This iron is called pig iron. Wrought iron is comparatively pure form of iron. It contains not more than 0.5% impurities of which carbon amounts to about 0.2%. Cast iron is purified by heating on the hearth of the reverberatory furnace by the process known as puddling or stirring. The melting point of iron is raised reducing in the loss of impurities and iron attains a semi-solid state. At this stage, it is taken out in the form of balls. This is called wrought iron. It is used for making chains, bolts, etc.